Hello everyone and welcome to another MKX guide for Reptile. This one's going to be on Noxious. Noxious does 0.20% over time whenever you're close to somebody. When you activate it with down down 3 you can do 0.50. And when you choose to burn meter you can do up to 1%. Now bear in mind you do have to be close to them for this to be doing any damage over time like it does. But Noxus is one of my favorite variations because of the safeness you get on most of his knockdowns when you do activate it. You can block plenty of wake-ups in the game. And also it limits the comeback factor for the other player, so that's good as well. Now you can be hit out of activation. Um, anytime that you have poison gas activated, if you're hit, it does go away back to the point twenty. Noxus offers combos from 3-4 though. You can link 3-4 into an activation and then combo after that as well. Now this is really mainly good for the corner and you're not going to get 3-4 often because it is a 12 frame high. But say you get a punish or jump in or something like that, then yes, you can convert, convert from 3-4. But I mean, it's, it's up to you to decide if you actually want to do that. Uh, it's not necessary, but it is something that Noxus offers, so why not try to use it? Especially whenever you can get, I believe, up to 51% in the corner if you link 3-4 Toxic Fumes into back one down four like this. Mainly for me, uh, I, I like the setups in Noxus. Noxus has some very safe setups, so uh, first I'll show you the Creeping Slime Ball. This is off 4 4 one. 441 has some of the most hit advantage, so you can activate poison gas as well very safely when they if they try to tech roll wake up. Uh, that's one of the fastest wake ups in the game that I'm blocking there. Um, if they don't tech roll, then it's even longer. You have more time to do something about it, and uh, you can do creeping slime ball. Of course, you can do the poison gas as well. I'll show that here. Plenty of time to do whatever you want. Now, if they don't wake up, you can start rushing in and doing some damage. But if you're used to them waking up, a lot of characters you can slide and break their wake ups. And this is off any combo that you end with forward four one. If you if you do combos to forward four one, it gives you so much hit advantage that it allows you to get that slide out and break pretty much every wake up in the game for the most part. There's the exception of slide wake ups and uh, kung lao. But, and a few others maybe, also all the DLC is not out yet, so I don't know, but um, even if they do trade, it's it's really not that bad, because you can trade and end up getting more. Some characters you obviously may not want to trade, but on to zoners. Some, some people wake up with a zoning type move, like shots after they tech roll or something similar to that. This setup's really good on characters like that because you can just throw a regular force ball and make a very decent trade and then get back in there and do more pressure. Um, certain knockdowns like the claw ender that I just showed, I'll get more into later. But the trade is really well worth it and you can activate toxic fumes, get in there, do some pressure, whatever your pressure may be, you know, you're gonna have to change it up. And another thing that I want to show is Toxic Fumes, which is the meter burn version of the Poison Gas, allows you to get throws for up to 19%. And that's that's really helpful. Especially because you can choose which side to throw and you don't know if they'll be able to tech it. So that's a lot of damage on the table. Now into the Claw Swipe Enders. These aren't quite as safe, but still safe. I'll get into force balls on claw swipe after showing you the meter burn one here. Poison gas, of course, you're going to be able to activate with plenty of time. It's not going to matter. But if you do a fast force ball or slow force ball without meter, that's not okay. You will get punished by most of the wake ups in the game, as you see here. Not quite enough time. With 33 startup frames, you're really asking to get punished by a wake up. They can actually punish you on reaction, so don't try it. One thing, though, that is pretty great is toxic fumes on boss wipe knockdowns because it will bait out a lot of wake ups. And you can do this combo with 3 4 into Force Ball. Uh, use two Force Balls to waste quite a bit of time. 
and you'll see yourself making it up into the 40s depending on what you do. Uh, off the neutral jump punch you can do 2-1 or you can do 4-4-1. Four, four, it's a little more difficult but you can get a little more percentage there. So that about wraps up Noxious. Hope you guys enjoyed the guide. I uh, will be making more, uh, especially for the other variations, Nimble and Deceptive. I feel they're much stronger than this. If you missed out on wondering any of the combos, be sure to check out the combo guide. Reptile is very similar across all variations, so many of the combos you may want to know are in the combo guide. So just check it out, and uh, thanks for watching.